A Minneapolis city leader says she is traumatized after protesters held her against her will. I cannot make any formal decisions to which I am being asked to make on a Sunday afternoon. City Council Vice President Andrea Jenkins says that activists held her captive in her car for 90 minutes while forcing her to, to agree to their demands. New at 6, the mayor told WCCO's Reg Chapman that demonstrators went too far. We were having a conversation. I was trying to keep her accountable. Um, and uh, I said, well, we'll just have to show up and do a, a protest at your house, a uh, friendly protest. And then that's when she blew up in my face. Donald Hooker Jr. was asking Minneapolis City Council Vice President Andrea Jenkins about police accountability, defunding police and returning George Floyd Square to the people. And I walked away. Hey, I'll tune in. And then he followed me here. Jenkins says she was traumatized and tried to defuse the situation by walking to the vehicle she came in, only to be surrounded and held against her will while forced to agree to the demands of those surrounding her, including the immediate resignation of Mayor Jacob Fry. I will certainly let the council vice president speak for herself. Uh, we did have a conversation and she made very clear that uh, it was under duress. Last Last Leave George Floyd Square alone. Yeah. Period. Period. Mayor Fry says he does not believe what took place is protected speech. It has nothing to do with First Amendment speech. First Amendment speech is about having the ability to express yourself, not the ability to compel somebody else under duress to take your position and, and enact your speech. He is furious Jenkins was held against her will. I don't care what your politics are, Democrat, Republican, Independent. Everyone should be speaking out against this. But the activist we spoke with says it's all about holding her accountable for what he calls her inactions. I do believe that she knows what the people want and she understands that the power, the, what the power of the people looks like. Now you can leave. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Jenkins declined to speak with us today. The police department says that she did not call 911 for help or file a police report.